Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert trainer will be talking about how you can create a release pipeline. So let's get into the video. Now, what is this case? Your Azure supported pipeline as a code via YAML. So guys, we have both the options available. Either you can go via YAML pipeline or you can go via classic editor. Now guys, classic editor you must have seen multiple times. Now as a part of the training itself, that classic editor have already templates available. So let me quickly go back to my DevOps portal and revalidate that. Yeah, it is getting executed guys. Let's see guys, okay? Okay, coming back. Now over here, so your classic editor guys, I hope you can recall, we talked about the classic editor initially, right? For an example guys, if I go into the pipeline, if I try to create a new pipeline, right? Let's say of my own, it does give you the option of the classic editor, right? So YAML pipeline will be having the YAML code and the classic editor is nothing but having the template formation, right? That you can have multiple templates. For an example, if you are going with the ASP.NET web application deployment, you can click over here and it will help you forming that particular template altogether, right? Where you can authenticate what kind of the web application that you will be creating on the Linux and Windows, and everything is available in the form of the template. So these are the two options that you will have, okay? Now, if you will be going via YAML editor, for an example, let's say I don't want to go via classic, I'm going back to the pipeline where I don't want to use the template. If I click on new pipeline, you can also go via Azure repositories can be the source and I would like to go via YAML. Now ASP.NET, initially we saw that as a classic editor, this is your YAML, right? So both the choices are available that how you would like to form your CI CD pipeline, right? So Azure DevOps release pipeline can be created in the form of both itself. Now built and release task that you will be able to select. So guys, this is the same window guys when you will be trying to add a particular task, right? It will give you the list of that particular option where you can bring your requirements over here. Maybe any particular packages that you would like to bring any particular utility test deployment tool marketplace options available. So just like you have a third party database requirement, you can also select that particular marketplace and you can bring that particular requirement, right? So unit of your executable code used to perform your designated action in a specific order and guys you can see order is something which is important and the task building your testing and you're running your utilities packaging and the deploying so extensible model and community task available in the marketplace as well so just in case if you have a requirement now guys it does give you the facility for the code itself see guys this option show assistant and this is also going to give you all these bunch of options that you would like to bring that. So it's not necessary guys that one should go via template every time. If you are going using a YAML as well and if you want to bring any sort of the requirement for the resource creation, you can also target over here as well. So let's say I'm going with your SQL databases available, but let's say if I will say database and if I hit enter over here, it will give you the list of the databases that you would like to bring. Clear guys? So that option is also available for the YAML pipelines as well. Now the release jobs that you will be creating. Now in the release jobs, you will have a bunch of tasks that you will have. So a job is a series of the tasks that run sequentially on the same agent. So can be combined in one pipeline to enable multi platform deployment like your deployment of the .NET backend. So guys, this we have already seen few minutes ago. So this is something that you will be able to select run on the host machine where your agent is installed and further you can have the configuration guys you can have a single agent you can have multiple agent you can go with the microsoft hosted agents you can go with the self hosted agent you have multiple choices available guys so multi configuration run the same set of the task on a multiple configuration run the release once configuration setting a of a web app and your setting b for the web app b so this can also happen guys that you are going to run a particular pipeline and it will help you creating two web application on the same app service plan and multi agent that runs the same set of the task on multiple agent using the specified number of the agents over here. So that can be also done. So guys, let me ask this thing in which situation guys you think that you required multi configuration or multi agent. Okay, guys multi configuration means. Let's say let's understand this guys. 
if you are using an app service right your app service plan can have more than one web application or not so multi configuration is nothing but in case there will be any changes in the code or any particular setting right so let's say i'm going with asp 4.8 there could have been the possibility the same app, app service plan is running the different runtime stack altogether can i have two different runtime stack yeah possibly yes i can have it see guys the name of the app service plan is b934 if i am going with a higher asp.net guys is still the same right so even if i am changing the runtime stack for some environments it will not be changing your app service plan it means i can have two web application on the different runtime stack on the same app service plan as well isn't it let's say guys let's say you have a machine right let's assume you have a laptop right now in that particular laptop if you are writing a code for a web application you are using visual studio in the same visual studio runtime you can have web application running on two different version of the framework of a visual studio isn't it yes or no for an example dotnet framework 4.5.1 or dotnet framework 4.5.2 i can have two set of the codes running right and as rightly mentioned one can be the dotnet application one can be the java application as well right in the same manner if you are using the app service right your app service can also have two application running on the different runtime but it is not true for all the runtimes because for some runtime you may need to create a separate app service plan for an example if let's say this is the web application running on the dotnet so i have a app service plan where the runtime stack is selected as a dotnet but for java it will be creating a different app service plan make sense all right guys so guys i hope multi configuration part is clear right now what do you mean by multi agent so if your particular pipeline have a dependency on certain sort of the action which required different environment right i can have certain test set of the task which required a separate environment altogether right so you can go via two approach either you can have two separate pipelines or you can have two separate agent available on the self hosted agents if i am creating a self hosted agent my machine can have two different agent available for the two different set of the task executed by the pipeline so remember that exercise guys when we have created the machine as a self hosted agent right that can that machine can have the different agents as well isn't it so the moment your pipeline will be executing different sort of the task where they have the dependency on the different environment it will be what will be the situation guys that will be your multi agent configuration that you will have and run the same set of the task on multiple agent running the specified number of the agents over here so deployment same bits of the form of the servers what is multi configuration run the same set of the task on multiple configuration so what you can have you can have a web a and the setting for b for the web application right so what is that guys we created a web application over here in your web application you do have an option for the deployment slots right and what it will help you doing that guys you will have a different web application running on the same app service plan isn't it let's say i would like to clone the setting or i can have the different setting all together you can mention my test for new avengers let's say and what it is guys it is the another web application right and if you want to route the traffic 50 50 as well you can do that so once this will be created what it will be doing guys so what it does guys we have two web application currently the entire traffic is going for this particular web application right but let's say i would like to distribute this particular traffic let's say 50% over here you can also do that isn't it have you heard about guys your blue green deployments because i may want to bring some feature changes on the different application or different web app on the same app service plan and on later stage i may want to swap it now let me give you a bigger picture right how the organization deals with that for an example let's say i would like to bring a newer feature over a span of time right so what i will do i will find a maintenance window maybe probably saturday morning at 3:30 am when the traffic will be less 
So what I will have, I will have a traffic manager, which will be routing the traffic to the two different web application in two different regions, right? So let's say if this is a web application available, that is one one region. There is another region. I have a web apps available over here, where I'm running two application, right? So let's say this is my existing web application, and maybe I'm ready with another web application. Just I would like to swap. And similarly, I will have another app service plan running on the another region, right? And also, I will have a web application which will be taking the traffic at that point of time, right? So what I will do that when the traffic is less, I will stop routing the traffic to this particular web application. And what I will do, I will do the swapping. Make sense? Now the entire traffic, once the swapping will be done, will be routed to which web application? To the newer web application on the same app service plan. And then I will enable this particular endpoint. So what it will have? It will have the existing workload getting transferred. So what I did, I under, uh, you know, there was an app service plan which probably was underutilized. This is the best option. Or let's say if this is under the higher compute, what you will do, you will disable it and you will have a separate app service plan altogether. If you have a different application, let's say the previous web application was .NET based. Now this is a Java based web application so that I will be running on the separate app service plan. I will disable it and when I will enable it once it will be pointing it to this particular web application. So both are possible. Right. So depending what you would like to bring as per your business use case. So I hope guys multi configuration multi agent part is pretty much clear. So do you have artifacts from multiple resources you can have? Do you want to run your deployment on the different servers simultaneously? That can also possible and do you need multiple platforms? So then that is the case of a different app service plan that you can have right because you required multiple platforms over there and how long does your release take? So it also depends how many tasks that you have in your release and how much uh, you know the code that you will have basically let's say if I would like to bring a major change right so definitely I have a lot of code requirements so it will take longer than the expected time but if I'm going with the minor changes definitely it will depend on the number of the changes and the number of the resources that will be deploying and can you run your deployment in your parallel or does it run in the sequence okay guys let me ask this thing what do you think is better option parallel or the sequence okay guys guys if in case in your interviews or if somebody asks this particular question what is better right so let me tell you guys there is nothing called better it depends on the scenario always right now when the sequential task is better in comparison to the previous guys if you have a dependencies and another thing is if in case you have some testing tool integrated over there that I cannot proceed without this particular testing now running the sequential task is a better choice because if you have a QA environment and then if you have a production environment so better to run in the sequential because whatever will be the problem you will be able to find out in the QA you will fix it and then you will be going into the prod right so in this situation sequential is better but in which situation parallel is better that let's say I need to do different kind of the testing altogether for the same set of the code that one is going to do smoke testing one is going to do functional testing one is going to do let's say your security testing now in the different stages I will have the different testing tool configured and I would like to push the code parallelly into that particular staging environment right now in this particular situation parallel is better because it will not let you to wait for a longer span of time and the results will be available once all the tasks will be executed and that is running in parallel over here right so if guys if you will be able to recall right i mean when we executed that particular release job okay just give me one minute in your release job right initially when we were talking about the release job we talked about that particular release jobs that you will have just give me one minute guys while running this particular release job guys just give me one minute let me execute this right you have this particular option right so while creating the new stage you can have two stages running in parallel as well right or 
you can have two stages running in sequential order as well guys are we able to follow how you would like to plan that totally depends over here are we able to follow guys depending on your requirement right just give me one minute guys yeah let me authenticate this this was pending earlier on AZ400 test for web app over here. Let me select this. Okay, guys, so depending on your requirement guys, you can create multiple lease jobs and on the basis of that you can Go via the deployment of requirements, right? So guys, this was our expert from team K21 Academy And if you want to learn more about the concepts discussed in depth, then we have something really special for you We have our free class on Microsoft Azure DevOps certification under this free class, you'll be learning about why to learn DevOps on Azure Cloud, what is DevOps, who should learn about it, some demo and a lot of hands-on, and a lot more interesting stuff. So if you want to register for this free class, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash az4002. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to click on book your free seat now and select any event date according to your availability. Add your name, your email number, your phone number, and click on book your free seat now. And you'll be seeing this kind of URL on the extreme right. Save that, add it to your calendars, and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.